The Holiday Treasure Hunt Ariel and her husband, Prince Eric, were walking along the beach. It was only a few days before Christmas, but the weather was still mild. Suddenly, Eric's dog, Max, ran up to them. He was carrying a waterlogged boot. I've been searching for that boot for months, cried Eric. Burying things and digging them up is Max's favorite game, said Ariel, shaking her head. It looked like Eric needed a new pair of boots. At least now, Ariel knew what to give him for Christmas. But she had only a few days to think of gifts for everyone else. Ariel and Eric returned to the castle. As soon as they stepped inside, Carlotta, the housekeeper, announced it was time for tea. Already? asked Grimsby the butler, checking his pocket watch. He gave it a tap. Hmm, must be broken. Eric and Ariel invited Grimsby and Carlotta to join them for some tasty treats beside the Christmas tree. Isn't that tree beautiful, Ariel remarked. Carlotta suggested we use red and gold decorations this year. Why, thank you, Carlotta replied. Those are my favorite colors, you know. Ariel was delighted. Now she had gift ideas for Carlotta and Grimsby. The next day, Ariel went into town to do her Christmas shopping. There she found the perfect pair of boots for Eric. For a special surprise, she also got a bottle with a tiny little ship built inside. It reminded Ariel the first time she met Eric, beside his ship. Then she chose a shiny pocket watch for Grimsby. The trusty timepiece would certainly help him keep everything on schedule. At the jewelry store, Ariel searched for something in Carlotta's favorite colors. Soon she bought a gold necklace with a ruby pendant. Max's present was easy. Ariel stopped at the butcher shop and got the biggest bone she could find. Ariel still had to find gifts for her father, her sisters, and friends from the sea. When she saw a shop window filled with colorful glass hearts, she knew her search was over. What beautiful ornaments, Ariel told the shopkeeper. I'll take them all. Back at the castle, Ariel carefully wrapped the gifts and wrote a special message for each one. She finished the last note and attached it to King Triton's present. But when she placed her father's gift on the pile of wrapped presents, she realized something was missing. It was Max's gift. Suddenly, Ariel heard a loud chewing noise coming from behind a chair. Max was gnawing happily on the bone she had gotten for him. No opening presents early, Max, Ariel scolded. She took the bone from Max and hid it in the other presents under the bed. On Christmas morning, everyone at the castle shared a festive holiday breakfast. Afterward, Ariel went to her room to get everyone's gifts. But when she looked under her bed, all the gifts were gone. She looked under the rug, then she checked inside the closet. She even looked behind the curtains, but the gifts were nowhere to be found. Ariel, Eric called upstairs. It's time for presents. Ariel joined the prince by the tree. Is it all right if we do that later? I told my Mer family and friends I'd meet them at the beach this morning. Ariel decided she could keep looking for her presents later. Of course, replied Eric. Come along, everyone. We're going on a Christmas visit. Ariel's friends Flounder, Sebastian, and Scuttle were waiting on the beach. Scuttle the seagull handed Ariel a small chest. We thought these Wachimajinglies would come in handy. Ariel opened the lid and saw the sorts of treasures she had loved to collect when she was a mermaid. There was a bent fork and a cracked mirror. Thank you. We all helped find them, Flounder said proudly. Just then, King Triton and Ariel's sister swam up. Merry Christmas, they called. Merry Christmas, Ariel replied, waving to her family. We brought presents, Ariel's sister Aquata shouted. Oh, thank you, Ariel exclaimed. I have gifts for all of you, too, except... Woof, woof, Max barked. The dog ran up, holding a boot. Your present, Ariel said to Eric. Now she knew where the missing gifts were. Max had buried them on the beach. Ariel thought quickly. Surprise, everyone. We're going on a Christmas gift treasure hunt. Ariel, you are amazing, Eric said. Only you could turn the holidays into a new adventure. Soon, Eric, Carlotta, Max, and Grimsby were digging around the beach. Ariel's friends and Murr family cheered them on. Try digging near the old rowboat, Flounder said. Or near that sandcastle, Aquata shouted. Each time someone discovered a present, Scuttle would pick it up and deliver it to the right person. First class airmail for Carlotta, Scuttle called as he dropped a small package in the housekeeper's lap. The treasure hunt was loud, sandy, and the most fun anyone could remember having on Christmas morning. Everyone loved Ariel's gifts. After the treasure hunt was over, everyone gathered by the water's edge to say goodbye. Merry Christmas, they called to each other as Ariel and Eric headed back to the castle. Inside, the pair sat by the fire and admired their gifts. What a wonderful holiday tradition, Eric said. We should have a Christmas treasure hunt every year. Ariel just smiled. It had been a day full of surprises, and sometimes the most unexpected treasures were the best. Mm -hmm.